But uh, good morning. It's a it's a it's a pleasure for me to be with you. Um, and uh, I know a couple of you mentioned that it is about four four. I got up. Bud wanted me to be up and ready, sitting in front of the screen, just to make sure everything was fine at about three thirty in the morning for me. And I said, in, in as much as I love Adelaide, in as much as I'm happy that Mitchell Johnson has decided to retire, um, and none of us actually sleep, we're still celebrating about that in all the cricket world. Um, you know, I think 3.34 is a little early, so I'm happy to join you. Um, and uh, let me, uh, and so first let me start saying thank you, Lord Mayor, for uh, having me uh, join you and also to the uh, 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 state government officials who wanted me to participate, because I think this is one of the more exciting things that we are doing as Cisco, and for me personally, leading Smart Connected Communities globally, is a partnership with Adelaide. And I always, I, and now here's the, here's the, here's the little uh, secret that I'll mention. I've not been to Adelaide. I've been to Australia, I've gone to Sydney, I've gone to Melbourne, but I'm holding the best for the last. Oh, well, not the last, but the next one. Uh, and that is uh, coming to actually one of the great uh, mid-sized cities of the world. And I, I want to start with that. If you think about uh, what we talk about in lighthouse cities, the reason why I'm most excited about Adelaide is not only, it was the first mid-sized city in the world that we decided to partner with. Because there are more mid-sized cities than a New York or a Barcelona or even a Sydney. More people are going to be more interested in Adelaide than they are going to be interested in Sydney. And I know saying that in Australia will always get you cheap laughs and everybody's happy when I say that when I'm in Adelaide. But uh, the fact is, I am increasingly focusing on Kansas cities of the world and, and Adelaide's of the world because I think that is where the bulk of your future innovation is going to come out of. And I, I think if you do the right thing, that we can have mid-sized cities with the scale and the scope and the access and the network of large cities, all the advantages of large cities, if you can bring it into us mid-sized cities, I think it will make the world a little bit more livable and more people would want to live in an Adelaide as opposed to in a larger city. So that's my original. Let me just, just say a couple of things about uh, not only um, uh, what we, uh, what Cisco and why Cisco is interested in this, whole space of digital cities and smart cities. If you think about uh, from a global point of view, and I look at the globe, even though I'm sitting here in Bangalore, at least for the next six more months before I move back to the US, uh, when, you, when you think about it, there are 10,000 people moving from rural areas into urban areas, and then from smaller cities to larger cities. And the reason they do that is for access um, for access to um, uh, urban services, especially in countries like India and China and the others. This means we, the, in the world we're currently creating, there are 10,000 people moving an hour a day, which means we're creating one London every month for the next 36 years, just to keep up with urbanization. So we have to do things differently. And we have to look for lighthouses, cities that have figured out how to create livable cities, sustainable cities, smart cities where you have entrepreneurship, economic development, you have environmental sustainability, you have an entire ecosystem of innovation. We want examples, we want, we want role models, and that is where Adelaide comes in. I think given the classic participation between the public and the private, that is not only at the state level, but the city level, then with the universities, with the entrepreneurial communities, with the investment communities, with the universities, I think that is what is needed for cities to become smart and for cities to become much more digitized and ready for the 21st century. And we see that here at Adelaide. And that is why this studio, the Smart City, uh, Adelaide Smart City Studio, is an extraordinarily important milestone for us because what it is doing it is, is bringing all the different players together to say, can we think about not only designing cities, operating cities, and growing cities, and all the access to services, to innovation, to a better quality of life for citizens, can we do that differently? Can we use digital infrastructure along with physical infrastructure and redesign the way cities are operated? And how do you create partnerships in the community so as to create innovation? So that's my first point that I want to bring up as to what we see about uh, the Adelaide Smart City Studio. It is, it, it, it is a part of an effort to create a different way of running a city, but also how to connect our innovation centers globally. I have about nine global innovation centers, Adelaide being one and the first one in Australia. And we have buildings in Berlin. We're just gonna announce one in Hamburg. We're doing it in Barcelona. We have in Songdo in Korea. The whole idea is how can we connect all these different 
innovation centers. So if there's an innovation, if there's a new application, if there's a new service, if there's a new solution that comes out of Adelaide, not only do we use Adelaide City as a living lab, but we also take that solution, get it certified and take it to other parts of the world and other cities and other um, uh, geographies. So I'm quite excited about the future of this partnership. And when we looked at cities, and we are very, very focused on picking only a small set of cities, we look for five things, and we see that in Adelaide, and I hope that this will strengthen as we go forward. The first one is a political will and visionary leadership. Are we rethinking what a city can be? Are we rethinking what government services can be? Are we rethinking the way cities uh, should grow? And the whole idea that I talk about is smart cities has nothing to do with technology and it has everything to do with technology. At the end of the day, cities are great because it has a soul. What is the soul of a city is what we always look for. What do they care about and what matters to that city? So that political leadership and visionary leadership is what we see in Adelaide, not only at the state level, city level, the partnership, and then the entrepreneurial community, the business community, the stakeholders. That is an important part. The second two... Second and third are very critical because most cities, I would argue in a great city like Adelaide, are still managing in the mechanical world. Many cities have not yet moved the operations of the city to the electronic world and definitely not to the digital world. How do you seamlessly get global standards so that we can create solutions that can scale not only in a city but can also go and be exported to other cities, can be offered as a service and as a business opportunity? For that, we need global standards. And third is smart regulations. There are lots of regulations on the books that don't allow for the deployment of solutions that are digital, for the development of these new solutions. It's not a technology issue anymore. It's about smart regulations and business models. And there comes the last two, which I see, and what is I see in front of me here, is public-private partnerships, true public-private partnerships. The majority of the public partnerships that we see are usually in, in balance. That is, the government is trying to avoid cost and the, and the private practice and the private enterprise are trying to avoid risk. And, and then there's this tension. That is not the best way to have public-private partnerships. The best public-private partnerships are where the government brings in what they do best, which is regulations, enablement, creating the environment where businesses can flourish, where stakeholders can work together, where investments can come in. And that, I see that is happening here in Adelaide. And the last one, which is probably the one that makes us all get excited and get up early in the morning and show up, is the fact is, can you create an entire innovation engine that is local, that not only drives the innovation for the city, but from the city elsewhere? So the whole idea that I look at Adelaide Smart City um, uh, 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 Studio is, what can we do for Adelaide and from Adelaide, not only for Australia, but for the globe? And that is why I think this is an extraordinarily uh, exciting opportunity. So again, I want to say, Lord my, Mayor, thank you so much for including Cisco uh, in your efforts to make uh, Adelaide a, a world-class, mid-sized, it's already a world-class, mid-sized city, but the world's best mid-sized city. Thank you again, uh, but I see you standing there. Hopefully, it was clear, and I haven't missed thanks, anything thanks, that Dr. you told me to say. It was, it was reasonably clear. Thank you.